Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out here today, I've got my Ruger American in 30 out 6. Let me show you the whole setup here quick. Pretty plain Jane, basic, budget friendly hunting rifle. On top, I got a same kind of deal, real affordable Bushnell banner scope on it. She's got 16 zoomies on her. And why is it important to know about bullet trajectory or bullet drop so all of my rifles I sight them at a hundred yards well what if a deer pops up at 50 yards or what if a deer pops up at 200 yards I can't hold dead on with my crosshairs I need to know where the bullet is going to hit at different distances so for this video what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take you out to the range I'm going to verify my 100 yard sighted and make sure that this rifle is still on. I'm going to come in closer, fling one at 50 yards, see where it hits. So that way, if you see a deer at 50, I would know where to hold. Then I'm going to send some at 200 yards with this 30 out 6, and we're going to see how much that bullet drops between the 100 yard dead on sight in and 200 yards. Gravity is pulling on that bullet, wanting to bring it down. The ammo that I'm using. For this video today is some normal whitetail 30 out 6 150 grain projectiles I sighted this thing in with this ammo just a little bit ago let me roll in some footage of that stuff sighting this rifle in with that ammo on a bench rest This was our first three shot group, two in the same hole and then the third one almost touching. I'll put my thumbnail up there just for a frame of reference here. Remember that's a penny which is three quarters of an inch so that three shot group there I'd say that it's probably inside three quarters of an inch. Definitely a good group at 100 yards. Then our second group, very similar results. Three shots touching at a hundred yards. I'd say that is definitely under an inch three shot group there as well. So let's go out and hit the range and fling one first at a hundred yards and verify that this rifle is dead on. Alright, just to show you guys what I'm looking at. That middle berm is 100 yards and we'll come up closer to this 50 yards then we'll go way back there to the 200 yards and we'll show you guys the bullet trajectory and the bullet drops here but real quick just to show you what I'm looking at alright first shot here let's verify that our 100 yard zero is still on should be here Yep, looks like we're still good, still inside that bullseye ring, a hair bit left. Now let's bring him back to 50, send one at 50, see where the 50 hits. If you were to sight your rifle in at 100 and a deer steps out at 50, where should your hold be? We're fixing to find out. Alright, shot at the 50 yards. 50 yards here now. Only maybe a quarter inch lower from the hundred yard side end. So that tells you right there, your 50 yard hold can be pretty much the same as your hundred yard hold. Now let's go up to 200. Send three of them at 200, see what kind of 200 yard group we can get. So there we saw that this rifle is dead on. Really confident in this setup, it's dead on at 100. So what did we see there in the footage? At 50 yards, we're still hitting very, very close to where that 100 yard sight in is. Half an inch, maybe at max one inch off. 
very very close so if a deer pops out at 50 yards it's still a safe bet you could just about hold dead on where the those crosshairs are dead on at 100 yards but on out there to 200 yards what did we see there the average bullet drop of this ammo when sighted in at 100 yards at 200 yards that average hit there was hitting about six inches low. Now that we saw what happens when you sight in at 100, back in at 50, and then out to 200, and seeing that six inch drop, let me do some mathematical calculations here and show you the bullet drop with this exact setup all the way out to 1,000 yards, what the drop will be in inches, and some of the adjustments on your scope. All right, now let's look at a larger chart here at 100 yard steppies out here so g1 coefficient here the bc on that normal whitetail 30 out six is 274 i put in the 150 grain bullet weight this is the actual speed that i chronographed with that ammo out of my ruger so that's my data there that i put in rough guesstimate on 1.5 inch side height sure so here we go Sighted in dead on at 100 yards. This bullet chart drop says I should be losing about four inches. Maybe those plates it was closer to four inches and not six inches. I didn't get the measuring tape out, but this chart is saying with that ammo and those speeds at 200, I should be dropping four inches. At 315 inches, still not bad. 400 yards, we got almost three feet. 500 up to 68 inches, and you see the numbers here. All the way down to 1,000, we're dropping almost 600 inches. But we can look at the MOAs and the mills, if you guys are into that, have those reticles, or uh, know how to dial those in your scope. We've got some videos teaching you how to do that, if you're not familiar. But at 200, it's only half a mil, so there's not much to dial there. At 200, I'd probably feel better just holding over four inches than worrying about your scope. But longer range, you're not going to be able to hold over 118 inches very well. But you can see there too, this ammo is slowing down beneath the sound barrier between 600 and 700 yards. And this is kind of cool too sometimes to see the, the flight travel. So that 30 out 6, it takes it over two seconds to uh, travel a thousand yards. And you can see the energy where it falls off too. So it has under a thousand foot pounds of energy after 400 yards. So there's just some quick data on the bullet drop chart calculations I did. If you have a different type of ammo, it's probably going to be pretty similar to this. It won't be exact, but pretty close. So, Saturday night at 100, 4 inches a drop at 200 yards, 15 inches at 300, and then 3 feet of drop at 400 yards. So, pretty interesting stuff there, guys. I always like to figure out that information and take a look at it and compare it to other cartridges. But, 30-06 not the best choice for doing some long range or extended hunting there's quite a few other cartridges that i would recommend to you for longer range uh than 30 out six but hey 30 out six is a proven and awesome cartridge absolutely love the 30 out six like i said i'm taking it hunting myself here real soon but pretty pretty cool stuff but way on out there at a thousand that sucker is dropping real quick. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you learned something. I always enjoy doing these type of videos. Make sure you're subscribed. Comment down below what you guys want to see next time. Stay tuned for a bunch of hunting videos coming up real soon. I'm super, super excited. Let me know what you think about the old tried and true 30-06 Springfield. Appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all on the next one. Oh,